Okay, fuel tank's lifted off and that bar across the back here for, I guess, the uh, three-point, I guess it's three-point hookup bar. Yeah, that would be that thing there. Three-point hookup bar is lifted off now. I, put, I had put all my nuts and bolts on to keep track of everything. It appears to be some going, ongoing rust concern there on that one. Must be where the water's been sitting and I haven't been storing it inside. So this is what it looks like kind of naked. Now I think these two wings have to come off next. But for me it's breakfast time. It's getting close to noon. And, or maybe 10 o'clock, I don't know. Don't keep track of time. But uh, this is what everything looks like. And you can see the clutter that collects in here. I mean, that definitely can't help cooling. And this is what gas tank sits on this thing and it's got these little donuts just sitting in there i guess they got wedged in between here and up here somewhere but you get the tank in first i guess and and then you put these two things in there like that and uh, that uh, isolates the tank and sitting on here and of course a smart person if they're planning this, would make sure that the tank was empty or would drain it. But, you know, I have a shutoff valve on there, so I just figured, oh, what the heck. Didn't need to drain it, just turn off the shutoff valve. Right? Oh boy, what a mess. I'll figure it out. But we still got to get into major stuff like this. I don't know what it's going to entail, but it looks like we need some big breaker bars for busting this because almost every bolt is uh, really torqued. And maybe they use Loctite or something, I don't know, because uh, it's really torqued. But you know when you start stripping it down and you get some decent looking pictures, it kind of makes sense how everything works. And now it's all put together. And of course, for me, a lot of this video is to help me remember where all these things like wires go. So I do the videos and hopefully I won't delete them. And I can edit them into a movie that works for everybody. Not that everybody would tackle something like this. Now this is the, the lifting mechanism for, say, the, the moor deck. And it's connected to this thing, and there's some kind of an adjustment nut thing bolt there for setting that up, for lifting and lowering, who knows. I don't have a mower deck, I just have the backhoe and the front end loader, and I'm quite content with that. But the whole reason I'm taking this apart is my differential lock which is this lever right here without the little rubber boot on it comes down and comes to this rod and goes down to here to this gizmo here and that rotates and there's another bolt thingy in there and goes into the differential and adjusts a fork and the fork pushes the pins in and out and that is what I need to go find out is going on with my tractor because uh, it automatically engages the differential lock, I think, with one pin, and there's two. So we need to solve that problem.